Hello and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast and your Reiki recap for whatever week it is because time doesn't exist anymore. I am so excited about this week's energy and card reading because I feel like it's about time. I actually haven't left my apartment in about 21 days. It's been three weeks of being in my building. My plans today are gonna go for a walk and keep my social distancing and, and do all the things that I should be doing, but I'm very excited about that. And it really fits well with the energy of the Reiki that was sent out this morning and the cards. So first of all, if you don't receive my distance Reiki on Sundays before I do these readings, you can head over to my Instagram if you're watching this on YouTube, but if you're watching this on Instagram, you can DM me at Michelle Shea and you can just send me a unicorn emoji to let me know that you want in on this list. So that is announcement number one. The next thing is that these cards are all about taking action and we'll get to the cards in a second, but I do wanna say that I've felt called this week to open back up the option for my six week coaching program. So technically spots aren't opening up until the beginning of May, but if you're feeling like you're needing to get a little unstuck from your life, you can always get a sample session to try it out, but it is essentially every tool that I have at your advantage for an entire six weeks. You meet with me on a weekly basis to coach you through whatever's coming up through the week. It could be things that you need to talk out. It could be things that you need to have questions answered by with the cards or the Akashic records, or it could be that you need just like a really relaxing Reiki session that week. And whatever it is, we cover what you need. Then throughout the week, between sessions, you have access to me via text and email whenever you need a card reading to answer a general pondering that you're having throughout the week or just a little insight or if you need a little bit of Reiki to get you through something throughout the week, you have me available to you whenever it is that you need me. This is my favorite thing that I've ever offered. I'm so excited that I get to see just growth and and opening up of channels in these people that I'm coaching that wouldn't have happened with just one session. I ultimately decided to do this because I was seeing the most progress in my clients that would come back to me on a regular basis. And so I thought, well, why don't I just set up a program that's gonna be cheaper than if you paid for it week to week, and it's going to be the support system for you throughout that process. So that if you do want to learn and change and grow on a very accelerated pace, you can absolutely do that. And what better time to focus on your self growth than now? So know that those are options that are available to you. We have the distance Reiki on Sundays that you can sign up for by sending me a unicorn emoji. And we have the six week coaching program and the sample sessions on my website. So all of that will make sense when we get into these cards because the energy of this week is about moving forward. For me, the feel of the past three weeks has been sort of like we want to be doing something productive, but it's almost like a manic feeling. It was, it was like we were all trying to figure out what to do with all this excess energy and how to make this whole experience seem worthwhile by checking things off our to-do list, but we weren't in an emotional state yet to really dive into those projects. So you might've found that over the past three weeks or so, if you were really setting the intention to like get things done and check things off, it just wasn't working and you would probably end up feeling kind of exhausted and just zone out in front of the TV or end up very emotional. And it's because the first three weeks of this experience have been about integrating into this new routine and honoring our emotions as we create change. Anytime you're creating any sort of change and shift in your lives, it's totally natural for emotions that come up, both great emotions and uncomfortable emotions. And if we just push past those and try to achieve the goal anyway, we're not actually achieving the whole point of the change and the growth. Because yes, the point of change is to get to the end point, wherever it is that you visualize yourself being, but the process of the change is where all of the beauty comes from. Because in sitting with the discomfort of trying something new, of doing something new, of living in a different way, you bring up things that need to be healed. And it's only by healing those things that you truly find happiness at the other side of the journey. So it's about the process, the unfolding, the honoring of the emotions and the growth that you accomplish along the way. So these first three weeks have really 
meant to be about honoring your emotions. And I know myself included have not always been doing that. I have been guilty just as much as anyone else of trying to dive into projects and distract myself with to-do lists. But the energy behind the past three weeks has been to slow down, to try and slowly integrate these new things into our routine and to be okay with the pauses in action where we have to get uncomfortable with our emotions, where we can't push forward with that to-do list. So hopefully to a certain extent you've done that, whether it be intentional or accidental. If you've been in the fields for the past three weeks, that is what has been supposed to be happening. And it will still continue to happen to a certain degree, but this week we're finally moving into this sort of opening up of a door. So we can kind of start to get more of the action towards these goals into place and moving forward but it's also not gonna be as linear as you might expect. So the cards this week are both threes. We have the energy of the three of cups and we have the advice of the three of pentacles. So both of these things indicate that we can get things done, but they have to be with the assistance of other people. Well, they don't have to be, but it's gonna be a more enjoyable process with the assistance and the presence of other people, which sounds like such a horrible thing to hear right now because most of us are disconnected from the outside world, but you have to adapt and change with the times and recognize that just because you don't have physical presence around you doesn't mean you can't reach out for support. So if you are hitting roadblocks and the things you're trying to accomplish, these cards indicate that there is someone waiting in the wings that is going to assist you. And as I've said in previous readings, sometimes someone waiting in the wings is not necessarily a physical being, it can be spiritual help, but I do get the feeling that a lot of us are gonna have actual fellow human beings that are waiting in the wings to help out. And it's gonna be a mutually beneficial relationship with these people that you encounter, with the people that you reach out to. So the other piece of advice that I have in regards to taking action towards your goals and moving forward is again, it's not gonna be linear. And that means to me that it's not like you're going to set the intention to learn a new language and you're gonna completely dedicate the next three weeks of your life to nothing else besides that study. It's actually that you're probably gonna set the intention to learn a new language and do a new art project and finish cleaning out your closet and work out and eat right and drink more water and it's not gonna be a single focused thing because that's not how we work. If we think about how we function in the world when it's normally functioning the way that we are accustomed to, we always have to have that multiple focus thing going on. We very rarely are just holding ourselves up into a space and focusing on one thing intensely, 24 hours a day, seven days a week until we get it done. That's not the healthiest way to get anything done. So, allow there to be a fluid energy amongst these goals and these ideas. And know that sometimes that fluid energy is still gonna take you back to zoning out on the couch or having to pour your feelings into a journal because we are still processing these emotions because we are still going to be transforming ourselves. Like just because weeks one through three are about being in the fields doesn't mean that we get that job done. <laughs> it just means that we are now moving into a more productive state and hopefully if we did it properly and we aligned with our emotions in the first three weeks and we learned how to listen to ourselves and listen to our inner beings, we can now move into a state that as the emotions come up and we progress forward into more change and quicker motion, we know how to honor those feelings. We know how to give ourselves the space to process the things that are coming up for us so that it doesn't take quite as much out of us and it doesn't take quite as much time to process things. So just be aware that you're gonna still be holding space for that. And that also might be part of what these three cards are coming up with support for. You may be finding people that are supporting your projects and helping you to learn something new or helping you to get something done, 
or you might be reaching out for that emotional support as you are pushing forward with your projects and you find that you're still encountering these emotional triggers and things that need to be healed, that might be where you reach out to your community and the Three of Cups, which is loving friendships, and the Three of Pentacles, which is badass business help. So both of these are working together and we are ultimately, again, finding different ways to connect, finding different ways to embrace community when community looks different than what we're used to. So the final bit of advice that I have, be gentle with yourself, but know that the, the light is now turned green. So those things that you may feel a little discouraged about not getting done thus far in this journey, you can start to dabble in them. And I also get the feeling that these things that we're gonna be getting done are not necessarily things that feel important. They're gonna be things that are ultimately important in the long run because they are going to bring us to all this change and they are gonna make us confront the emotions that we need to confront, but they're not something that's necessarily gonna, at first glance, advance your career or you know, make you become the best version of yourself. So be malleable with what you're drawn towards. I've had a recent impulse to learn a new language, so that's something that I'm planning on turning the green light on for this week and, and diving into. But I also know that there's gonna be other things that go back and forth. I'm working on my Total Betty Goddess deck, which is a deck of cards that's inspired by 90s pop culture females. So I'm also doing a lot of marathoning 90s shows just to get into that mindset. And that's okay. You know, if I'm spending half of my evening watching The Nanny and 15 minutes learning a new language, that's fine. The great thing about time feeling like it doesn't exist anymore is you can apply this to your to-do list and your routine. So it doesn't have to be, I have an hour time slot to work out and get a better body. It can be, I'm gonna do a little bit here, I'm gonna go, make some food, take a walk, whatever it is I need to do, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do if we're talking about working out, I'm gonna do some squats and then I'm gonna do something else and then I'm gonna do some crunches. Like you have the space available to you to do things sort of out of sequence and the more you stay open to that, the more that you'll find the inspiration to get things done in sort of spurts and that's okay. So I hope that this reading has served you well. Again, if you're interested in coaching, head over to michelleshaywalker.com. And if you are interested in receiving my weekly dose of distance Reiki, you can then head over to my Instagram page and direct message me with a unicorn emoji and I will add you to that lovely list. I hope that you are taking care of your emotions. Drink lots of water to keep that energy moving through you and know that this week is the start of your green light towards whatever goals it is that you've been wanting to accomplish. But it doesn't have to happen all at once. So have fun with it, be fluid, and enjoy the week ahead.